which I uh, which artists have I in your DM? I beg you some front on them thing there. Eh? They like YG and Craft yeah. and you know Marley. But the Pablo. Pablo, yeah. And after I was alkaline. And you know, people did that. Okay, did I have him contact lens? Yes, he did. Ah, why am I saying? Why am I asking? Let me ask something about body wash. Touch a god. Okay, so the story with Alkaline, he we didn't do that. No, I wrote you're looking. When I saw that, ay ay ay, Nara is an ass, but we we've all established that, right? He's an ass. Where is he? Them there. Oh, yes, I do have it. Hold on, let me. No stock. Let me, let me see so what This at. wasn't, so now we're saying 500. He is right, yeah. but I couldn't find it. They never gave you a pasty for that. They would have wicked for like drop a pasty for that shit. $5,000. Mm -hmm. $5,280 from the, the period from 1st of January 2018 to January 31st, 2018. One month? Check. <laughs> 5000 200. And this was supposed to share between... The spice incident. Where mm -hmm. were you at the time? I was there. I was... I was... Did you hear it live? Oh, yeah. You're sucking mother live? Live. So, where did I run through your body at the time? Did somebody have to hold your back? Nothing? No. And, I'm, I, and I think I have undiagnosed ADHD. Yeah. So, in my brain, is that my brain I got a million miles per minute? Have a time protection. Mm. All right, welcome to another episode of Inside the Music Pelper Time TV. I'm your host, GZB. And you know, we go already, we have a bad show for today and a bad guest. Are she bad? She not bad. She not bad, but it's a special guest. And I'm going to introduce her to the world. You know, might know her already. She goes by the name of Ari from The Fix. Oh, it's welcome. My it's my turn. Woohoo! Hi, Jeezy. Oh, my God. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> that to give me? Mwah, mwah, me get. Mwah, mwah. That's how they do it in so Europe. Yeah. Europe? Yeah. Two line on about Europe, you know. <laughs> Why? European them, boy. I'm telling you. Big up on yourself, same way. But, Ari, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. You know what I mean? Even so, though I was like, should I do this? Yeah, you asked Nara before me. Yeah, I never have your number. <laughs> well, now you have it. All right. Yeah, that people never have a number. You see me? Well, anyway, I go straight tonight for Cray. Yeah. Now I say, uh, you're looking. <laughs> when I saw that, when I saw that, ay, 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 Nara is an ass. But mm. we've, we've all uh, established that, right? He's an ass. That uh, him just get trouble. Yes. So, you're not looking. No. So, really, I look like somebody that would have looked somebody? No, you can look people in a different type of way. Mm. You could have just present yourself in front of time, you know, you drop something in front of time and it bend over and it's like, oh, oops. One of them oops there when blues just a start. <laughs> you know them vibes there? No. Mm -mm. No. And, and I was so annoyed when he said that, like... Why would he even say that? No, there was no looking. No looking, no going. No. You can't look. Well, I'm, I look like I look people like no, really. No, 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 I can't tell. Some girls I look more nowadays. But I know nowadays still because it's been a while, like, more than 10 years ago that happened. So maybe, I don't know. We still have to go give a lie detector test. Give me. A lie <laughs> give me. No. I feel like she need a lie detector test. Yeah. Me. Did she look narrow? But I feel like you present yourself a way where I say, you know, she all look me. Let's say, I think. That's gross. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> I'm annoyed. Mm. Like, why would he even say that? No. So go, so no looking's happening. No looking's happening. No. So, tell, tell me about your life when you were a little girl coming up, where you grew up. Well, f well I grew up in Portmore, actually. Yeah. Daytona. Um... Well, I was born in St. Andrew. Like, toddler years were spent in Patrick City. Yeah. But 1997, when Ascatai did bill mm -hmm. and was open, that's when my mom, because she's a teacher. Okay. Her profession is a teacher. Mm -hmm. And um, she got a, a job there at Ascatai. And it was established in 1997, and Daytona built up. So we moved over there. So it was easy because 
across the street. Just literally yeah. across the street. Yeah. So um, it kind of all worked out kismet in that sense. So I grew up, but my formative years were, yeah, in Portmore Daytona. Yeah. So what was life like? You like both parents? Oh, absolutely not. No, I mean, mean absolutely not. No, I was a single parent. My mom and it was my brother. My mom and my brother. Um, he's thirteen years my senior, um, and that's all I knew. <laughs> mom and brother. Mom and brother. Like literally, I was thinking about this like not too long ago, you know, and I was saying, how many times have I seen my father in my entire life? So he was there. He left in nineteen ninety. Where go? England. I'm going to England. Yeah. Still in England till this day? Still to this day. Um, I leave 1999. And I didn't see him again from 1999 till 2004. Yeah. My grandmother's funeral. Okay. So that, that, that I want you to call a bittersweet moment. Like if I ever, you know, you always hear the term and it's like, what could be bittersweet? But mm. that was bittersweet. Um, and then he was... He, 2005, six, him come out, and then I never see him again till like probably 20, 2012. But relationship over the phone, nothing? Uh, no, oh seems so. God, I don't. I, you know, look so. <laughs> you kind of know why, you know. You no, know, it was no, no. I I don't have that relationship with with my. Mom, other kids, different. No, I'm his only. Well, according to him, I'm his only child. So yeah. No, but it wasn't like that. No, absolutely not. Yeah. Like it was years. Like when him leave, I, you know, you'd write, you'd call. But literally, I remember one time I was saying, Mommy, you think daddy dead? Because I wasn't hearing <laughs> from him. It. Yeah, I wasn't hearing from him any at all. And I was kind of wondering what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we'd, we'd talk, it scattered. And then, in a, you know, in my adult years, um, we, where I was able to build a relationship on, on my own with him. Because when you're younger, you usually have to go to the mother. Mm -hmm. um, but, you yeah, know. And then it's like, you know, we, we left. Uh, well, I remember left. For malice. <laughs> him left. <laughs> him left. <laughs> but, you know, we malice each other and then we front up back and you malice each other and front up back. So it's been topsy turvy. But no, it's like, no. Like, you know, I see people have, oh, daddy, and then daddy's girl. Yeah. Like, in theory, I'm a daddy's girl, but in reality, I'm not. Yeah. Daddy? Do better, daddy. <laughs> no, I, I, we're getting better, you know. I mean, you know. I, for him only, yeah. for him only child still. Yeah. I'm sure that try. But you know what's you know what's so funny, and I think, as the, the beauty of getting older, you realize that when you're young, you think you're supposed to have things figured out. Like mm -hmm. young, like even though you know he's like, oh, you're not old. Like my mom got it together. But you realize that he left to try and make a better life for me. And when you leave to go to another country, mm -hmm. it don't go always work out the way, the way that you planet. you plan it. And you know, it's like, yeah, you when you're younger you, you was you build up a little resentment. But you know, as I say, like you try to build a relationship with him, you realize so well chill, it just never work out. And mm. you know and I think it worked out the way that it was supposed to because my mom is the literal source of my everything, essentially. And, you know, it kinda built something in me. I don't know if that's good or bad where <laughs> I don't really care for men. <laughs> Watch it to the sodomite self. It? It's not the sodomite <laughs> self, no. But meaning, it's like I, it's, a man isn't necessarily... You don't the, need a man. Yeah, it's not the core of me or, you know, like, oh, you boyfriend know. or husband. You and have a draw okay. side of your bed. Actually, no. <laughs> you have a draw side of no, your bed. No, I don't. <laughs> you go on. No. Uh, so your father build this... This feeling for say, oh, I'm gonna like money now. It's not, and it's, and, uh, and I'm joking when I say I don't like it. Yeah, I mean, no, but, yeah, it, but the, the, the feeling there for say, uh, yeah. can't bother you know. Yeah. If daddy do that? Well, mm, you probably have to go to therapy to figure that out, but more than likely, yeah. More than likely, yeah. You know, you, it's like a, I'm used to having my, my mom around. 
and of course my brother but then you know like isn't the rel the reliance on my brother is not like that yeah. you know he's he's my brother yeah you know i don't have any i don't i don't have any expectations of him so yeah, it's like that. yeah but so the person older brother, no? yeah yeah so, could i yeah. still look up to him and look out for him little sister see yeah which he is, which he definitely does yeah. i mean he did and probably probably when i was young i was a little angry too because how he made a look up for me is like Shut up! You're supposed to be my brother, like yeah. you know. Why you, why you tell mom and me? I, me I as if you carry me somewhere, you can't carry me and him something there. But for the most part, but yeah, yeah. So which high school you attend? Woolmans. I went to Woolmans. You went to Woolmans. Mm -hmm. And I see a time cross this. What that? Woolmans um, boys. Yeah. Aragon. Yeah. Okay. So we didn't know each other from them time. Then? Before that, we went to Heidel. Oh. So I we went to Heidel to get so. Yeah, like he's like two years ahead of me. Yeah. Yeah, two years, two three years ahead of me. So when I when I, when he was in grade six, I was probably in grade four. Yeah. So he was two years ahead of me. Uh, a, a pep time? No, no pep. Wait, wait, take um. G -Sat. G -Sat. Yeah. G -Sat. Yeah, G Sat. <laughs> wait, take none of them something. Yeah. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. you're a Yankee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like me. I'm gonna take common entrance. I like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What school did you pass for? Pass? Well, you always try to give me some big ratings. I like it still. But, I but said, one time I say, oh, you graduating. Graduate. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> um, I think they just place me in a guys in high school. They oh, just okay. place me because my mother teacher got guys in high school at the time. Okay. So they just place me up there. So, you mm -hmm. see me? So, uh, tell me a country youth from the, in the early days of life. Mm -hmm. Country to foreign, you know? <laughs> okay. Skip oh, yeah. out the town part. So, wait, so, then, so it's not like pass? You know, have a pass? Or? Yeah, I guess my pass, my pass, but I guys are like my pass for them. That's oh, it. okay. Because you didn't say place. Because I mean, like, you'd have a pass. Yeah, my pass, but I just, when you pass for a big school and live at them rural area, I would, I'm more like, I think I'd like Charlie Mount or Dintill or something like that. Okay. Them type of school there. Okay. No? And I said, I go, I don't know. Because mm. when you say, because it's not a pass or fail. We never fail. Done, done. You pass. Yeah. So you pass the guys ill. Yeah. 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 only got there like a year though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, and then he left. Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay. it's not about me though. It's about <laughs> you. A classic interview. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah. Try to change the rule. <laughs> the rule changed today. I'm not used to it, you know, to be honest. No, like, man. It's so Can't weird. Tell. It's so weird. But you don't know. So part of the business, same mm -hmm. way. A lot of people must want to know. What are you? What's she about? What's she off camera even though you're still on camera but this is about you now this okay. time you know what i mean your upbringing you went to high school well must you say how, how was school days uh it was good i mean i was an athlete from high level um school which sport Net track track i did in at high level i was i did everything everything and anything i could but i um, it was the the two main sports that i focused on was track and mm. netball true um and then when i went to Woolmers, i focused really on track mm -hmm. and the event that i really loved and, and i really gave special attention to was long jump i actually have a my okay. claim to fame <laughs> okay. See you the long jump. really no mm -mm. I'm actually a decent long jumper. I, have a, I got a um, silver medal. You can jump across the pool. Yeah? <laughs> Not now. <laughs> Not now. Yeah. But yeah, my, my, um, I got a silver medal wow. at Champs. And then there was a meet at Kurt Vine. And I was like all around, um, all around champion girl at the, for the event at the time at Kurt yeah, Vine. Yeah. Why you never pursue sports more? Um... Jesus, this is where we get honest now. Mm -hmm. Depression. Depression. How come? What happened? It was just, I don't even know, but I realized that I wasn't enjoying the sport like I used to anymore. Like, I, I think I probably could have focused it at grade seven mm -hmm. when my grandma died. So I just passed um, GSAT. So my, my grandmother did. October and I went to I'm a start school September okay. so it was just like okay and like yeah praying like, that was the first time I kind of know like or figured or understood denial rejection or anything bad happening because when time you pray you usually get what you want and yeah. then I prayed and she didn't pull through lost grandma yeah and it, and it, and it was a case it was just so sudden like she was she was fine 
one day and then she gone in at the hospital and then she did. Okay. So it was, you know, it was kind of lengthy, a lengthy sickness because she probably did. Um, from like August, August, September, she wasn't really, she yeah. never really looked good. And then she, about end of, the end of September, she got admitted into hospital and then she died. In October. October, yeah. And it was the first time. And then, I mean, we were close, but not, my, my other family members, them grew up with her and whatever, and them take it, them take it differently, I guess. But to me, it was just, it's like, she was the strongest woman I ever knew at the time. And, you know, it's just grandma, like she, yeah, she's gonna pull through, too. yeah. And then, and then she did, and and then it's like you get older into the teenage years too, and you kind of figure out what it is, what you want, what you want to do, and I just never find the joy that I had in for sports. it initially. I I just I couldn't do it. All right, when did you know you wanted to do media? Um. Well, I've always loved TV. <laughs> 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 it is my. After. It, I literally could Actress, have. I mean. You know, Parent Trap? Parent Trap, yeah. With Lindsay Lohan? Mm -hmm. My mother sick of that show there. Because when it come on. Parent Trap, them, uh, with them. The twin. So them get swapped. And it's like, mm -hmm. that girl. Oh, well, no, that's a sister. That girl has my face. But I could have said line for line, like word for word. Like TikTok, no? Like TikTok people are sync up and a. Mm -hmm. I you was doing that pre TikTok, like when it come on, I know the scene, I know the lines, them, I mean, I act it out. Um, you know, sister, sister, Disney Channel was my thing, Nickelodeon, the Cartoon Network. Um, I just and I just love TV and I love what TV could do. Like mm. it, 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 it really can transport you. It, it and books. Yeah. It did that for me. Transport you into into worlds and places that you know you've never you, even been never even been i've been out of space because of xenon girl at the 21st century no, so i i've always loved media and tv especially um but i never really thought that i could pursue a career in it initially so you kind of put it on the back burner but you know, because I, I really was trying to say, maybe I could be a lawyer or... Yeah, yeah. Um, what, what your mother did want you to pursue? You know, funny, my mom never had any sort of... Do, you must do this or okay. whatever. She ultimately just wanted me to do well in school and whatever I do, do it well. That's her personal mm. motto. Funny enough, that's woman's motto. Whatever you do, I get go quite against. Whatever you do, do it well. Yeah. And that's her personal motto too, is just ensure that whatever you do, make sure... You do it. She always said to me, say, you think, say, you think every work hard, mm -hmm. even people on a back road, them work hard. That was, that was what she would say to me. That's what she said to you? <laughs> yeah. Good. So mm -hmm. it's like, it's like, though, any idea of me thinking, well, oh, you know, if it could be easy, like, I want, you know, not, not easy, easy but, but she yeah. Had to so anything you she do, had to yeah. be mom and dad, you know. Yes. So she had to have the like, a rough edge to, yes. to show you, say, oh, mm. yes. So she's just like, anything you do, just do it well. Yeah. So she never really have no goal for me to say, yeah, I want you to do this or do that. No, it was always me. I every minute, more, more watch Law and Order too. So Law and Order was probably responsible for every career um, aspiration that I had, yeah. from lawyer to detective to forensic psychiatrist to forensic forensic pathologist. Well, if a criminal in them show that to you. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I'm catching them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not picking them. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but you pursued media. Mm -hmm. Like the first time you say, "All right, this you, you look like a proper person, right?" Don't what you are gonna do, you know? I say, "Oh, you know what?" Say this morning when you write it down in a book. Mm -hmm. So when was the first time you really say, "Oh, me I go put pen to paper and make it a reality." God, I've never done that for me. <laughs> you do it. Man. No. <laughs> Nara, tell me. Be a liar, a liar. Yes, cap. he's a liar. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, wow. Well, the, how I got into media overall mm -hmm. was that, well, I was trying to figure out, like, degree, mm -hmm. so university. So at the time, somebody said, well, you already have a foot in there because I was working at the, the, the Gleaners Youth Link. Mm -hmm. So it's the, the young people arm of the Gleaner. Um, and I was doing pretty well there. And so the idea was that maybe I would have ventured off into it and 
probably pursue writing okay. formally. And the, I got bad advice at the time, I would definitely say, because the person's like, oh, well, you know, you already have your foot in the door, so you don't probably don't need to study um, media. Mm. So Caramac, yeah, so Caramac was the option. And I was like, yeah, you're right, maybe not. And so I chose psychology because, you yeah. know, I like people and yeah. learning the human, human behavior. So that was what I pursued at the time. And um, I was writing for the Gleaner. And then I got the opportunity to be on youth, to work at the station, Newstock. Yeah. So that's how it kind of all spiraled, how yeah. it worked out. But, you know, it, it, it kind of was like, it was working, it was working, it was working. And then but I just got a degree. Mm. Less than that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Is yeah. Job you could, uh, where you receipt them there? Oh, yes, I do have it. Hold on. And you put it where? Yeah. Yeah. Receipt. Or paycheck. Yes. Or pay slip. No stock. Let me let me so it's This a... wasn't Sonaro saying five hundred. He is right. Yeah. But I couldn't find it. They never gave a pay slip for that. Them them would have wicked for like drop a pay slip for that shit. So but, sure, yeah. sure make the man cap out the whole interview yeah. now. Well this says five thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Five thousand two hundred and eighty dollar from the the period from first of January twenty eighteen to January. 31st, 2018. So one month. One month. She got 5,200. And this was supposed to share between me, Naro, Javi, Burns, and yeah, the videographer at the time, Jervis. $1,000 each. Not yep. going on with oh, yeah, month. Kimmy. <laughs> Six, so no? Yeah. As you, you really keep it. No stock. See, when you print up letterhead and be things for getting yep. the money. They couldn't just say in them pocket. <laughs> but no, but I'm telling you, Nara is right. He wasn't lying there. There was, we got pay for that. Yeah. So they never write up no check feet or, or no check or no. Um, yeah, but you just get a little. Piece. Yeah, you just said, this no is star. it. Yeah, yeah. Whew. Let that sink in. It's character building, you know? You have to think about it. It's character building. Because yes, you know, like, Exactly. You take the words out of my mouth. It bill you. Yeah. It yeah. Bill you. It bill you for making you notes. Say, all right. Go work harder or work for yourself. Mm. You understand? Which bill was you. funny enough, which is, in a way, is like we weren't necessarily working for new stock. Mm -hmm. We were working on new stock. Okay. So that, that. Yeah. But I understand. Mm -hmm. Definitely. <laughs> so when you, you know, the place now, you say, oh, all right, we're going to get artists, we're going to get. Oh, the plan did come about. Like, was the structure? Yeah. So, all right, it's st it start now. You remember the first, very first episode? What was like that for you? Like, how hectic was that? Oh my God. Yes, I remember it. Big up to Rasai. Rasai, yeah. Because um, Naro and the musical women. So, you know, when we had the show, it's like, yo, Rasa, you want to come? And mm -hmm. Rasa is like, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? Yeah. Um, yeah, and I never had any desire to be on camera, first mm -hmm. and foremost. I had zero desire to be on camera. Um, I was the producer at the time. We were trying to get a co-host for Naro. Mm -hmm. We went to Javi first. But Javi was pregnant at the time, and she's like, mm, I'm not sure too, because she was just like, mm, yeah, yeah I'm Javi. not sure. Yeah, big up Javi. Mm -hmm. um, and then I said, come on, come. But she, she kind of said no, and I was like, all right, we're not forced you. And, and she, as we said, she's pregnant too. Um, there was another girl that we went to, and, you know, she was just like, okay, sure. And, you know, but then after a while, she was like asking, so what is it going to be like? I mean, I said no. You know, the, the first production mm -hmm. era, and you say Rasai was the first person. Rasai, yes, he was the first person. Um, it, was, it was just a bundle of nerves, that first production for me. Um, you know, I was like getting the paper and I write it down script because when I was working at, when I was working as a PA mm -hmm. and I was working on um, the shows that were there, I think it was straight up, and evening, the evening edition, uh, they had to, they actually had a script, so that was my introduction into radio and presenting, like write it and write down everything, and then 
You realize that, well, no, you know, most people don't. And even Jerry, yeah. small, he has never been on script. Like him have it, him probably just have the information that he need, like mm. probably to help facilitate an interview. But like, hi, my name is Jerry Small and da 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 da. No, no. But that was me that's like, being type it, type it, type it. I give Javi, I give, I give um, the engineer who, who worked, the board of who work at New Start, and I give them, and I'm like, yeah, this is it. But after a well, while, like the first, week, well, the first night, I said, well, Nara is just like, it's no. Literally, if you, if you give Nara a receipt right now, mm. and by the time you have to call the number, number 56, it crush. Yeah. So Nara knew well with paper. So I realized that from very, very early on. Um, and then Javi too, she was also nervous. Like, she's just like, damn. I don't know what to do and you know like and it, it, it's easier for be yourself on camera it is but she too was she was very nervous like she's shy like most people really don't know that jabby is a shy person so you never tell me say you're shy too i am shy actually i am i'm a i prefer to be by myself i prefer to not be on camera so that's why I, in the beginning i was not i never camera. wanted to be on camera but when jabby had to have her kid in february mm -hmm. you know I had to take over. Yeah. I remember. Um, yeah, it was your very first episode on camera with who was the oh artist or who was the guest? Honestly, I don't remember. You know, you remember the Funny, guest. I don't remember the guest. Like a block out. So you did nervous. Very nervous. Actually, had to take like a piece of Xanax at the time and mm -hmm. just for calm my nerves. Like mm -hmm. nervous. Like my block it out. I don't even remember what happened. I don't remember how it go. But it was just like. You know, motion. So, no Sark was live radio? It was live radio. Oof. Yeah, it was live. So, I understand where that come in. You can't yeah. remember a mistake when you had None, that. none, mm. none. But I think the kind of what, the freeing thing about it being on, being on at that time was that, especially you kind of feel like, figure, probably like 10 people are listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah they are asleep. <laughs> Everybody's sleeping because yeah. we're on the graveyard tree from 9 to 11. So, you kind of think, such a, nobody not really listen. All right, differently from the, the program. You did it on campus. What was like campus like? Who used to like go to the part party them and everything? I've been to I I go U A for three years mm. and I've been to U A three times. Inti integration Thursdays three times. Yeah. I'm not really a big party. Uh, I'm not really go to campus something. Then. Yeah. So you never did get like a notoriety in a them time that they say oh where I, no. where you was a political. Mm. Nah, no one cares at get... the time. I really, you know, I realized like even my circle of friends, they never really care. Yeah. Like, they didn't care. Like they was like, oh, I really do a show. Okay. They mm -hmm. never really care. So, and it never really happened. I think, I think the first time I kind of probably see it was Alkaline. Yeah. Because it, it would, it, the video of it, that was the first time I kind of get to, or see what viral was. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I see somebody and I say, oh shit, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's my show. We said the first time going viral was with Alkaline. Yes, yes. And it's like, oh, well, no, it's actually with DeMarco. DeMarco. Because that Roaches thing, that did go viral. Mm -hmm. And it did hot at the time too, because it was talking mine, like fresh off a of talking mine. Mm -hmm. So that, he was the first major, I guess, that we had. And then after it was Alkaline. And, you know, people did that. Alkaline did have him contact lens. Yes, Canada. he did. He did. So he, did. he was convinced? Said that it was a tattoo at the time? I f okay, so the story with Alkaline, he we didn't do that interview in studio. Oh, it was in studio. So we, and this is what I realized like, with most artists. Oh, yeah, no, no. yeah, we kind of just throw me off. Because yeah, I said, well, wait. you know, I did my part. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you make, when you do your part, you think that so everything would fall in place. That was never the case. So we were, um, the day when we interviewed, yes, I'm, you know, hi, my name is, so hi, my name is Ariana. I'm the producer and the host of the show. Um, love to have Alkaline to come in, um, come in and sit down with us on the program and da 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 da, mm -hmm. da and talk. And he's like, okay, yeah, sure, all right, cool. Where? Um, you saw 93 FM. Where? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was at the UA campus. On the campus um, yeah, that. yeah. Um, and you do everything and you follow through. At that time, I was like, uber professional, like follow through, like the day, the same day, and call sure. them and whatever. So the the the. It's so at 9 o'clock when the show first start me. I say, hi, just reminding you of the interview again. Mm -hmm. um, she's like, yeah, okay. And then I think like 15 minutes after, like sometime after she called and she said, well, okay, so we're not going to come in. He's at a video shoot. Um, so, yeah, we're not going to go. And I say, so that, that was the first time I had to figure out like 
holy shit, what do I do? So I'm like, all right, can we call in? Mm -hmm. So that was it too. So we had to call in and... Um, it was over in. the phone. It was over the phone. That was the first time too. And that was the first major disappointment I had because yeah. I was really excited to talk to him because, you know, I... So I, how did it go though? Even though over the phone, it yeah. still happened. So how was the interview? It was good. It was, well, you know, narrow. He's like, you know, narrow, narrow being narrow. No, I'm saying. You remember not no, I'm saying. What I'm saying. What did he ask again? What did he ask something about body wash? He touch a god. And him friend him and something like that. But yeah. How look how it said? You remember? I don't remember too. <laughs> I don't remember. I just remembered. <laughs> Dial tone. No, he and funny he didn't. He didn't. But I figured I think that it would have been better though if he had come into studio. Yeah. Because I think most times it's like for me, because he was young mm -hmm. and we were young. You know, just hope that, well, yeah. let's form this unity of young people coming together in the media at the time. And him did have one with him thing, but, you know, he never really get... 2016 was the year for him. Yeah. But 2014, yeah, he was coming come up. up. And, you know, we'd have just, I was hoping that, like, hey, we'd have come and it would work out and it would be this fun thing. But, yeah. Now I have it to say, that was the interview making him stop, though. Interviews. Interviews, but I hope that's not the case. I think him do one with um on stage after. He did he probably go, yeah. Going on stage yeah. Yeah, but after yeah, but that was the first taste of disappointment to me for an it artist. It comes with the business. It yeah, comes. and but you never is, get a taste of it yet for no say. Yeah, it's a part of it. You ever get? Like, it's you like, can, promoters. like you can literally do everything right and it still not work out. Yeah. Like. But the the, the disappointment teacher for how to navigate. When, when, when certain things come in, you know, office say, all right, if that happens, see, you creative and quick thinking, say, all right, call in then. Yeah. So now you know when them not come in, you call. So that yeah. wasn't a problem after that. You just know, say, if you don't make it, we're going to make you call in. True. And that, but the thing is, I feel like what works with our interviews is in person. Yeah. Because the energy, you can't, like. You can't the, energy off. Yeah, block, the phone kind of block it, you know, yeah. like, if kind of, like. Because if, if, if I feel like if he was in camera, he would have realized that, oh, Nari is a fuckery, man. Nari, let's just have fuckery time together. Yeah, and, all of vibes. Yeah. Talk something. So that was it. But, you know, ultimately, you know, yeah, I don't like disappointment, to be honest. Yeah. And people think that you learn like, yeah, I learn, but I'm not, I don't like it. True. I don't, I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy failure. Like every time, you know, you watch it on Instagram and people are talking about, oh, you have to fail. I'm like, mm, no. Do you really have to? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you realize, yeah, you do. You do have to fail. It really is part of the course. And you figure it out and you learn. I think what I feel like what I'm missing as a person and as an individual. Mm -hmm. And maybe I have it, but I guess in my brain it don't work yet. But resilience. Okay. You know, like for be able to bounce back. Because for me, I'm such a perfectionist at heart. Like, yeah. especially you do everything right. You do it, you do it, you do it. And then it not work out. It's like, ja -ja. it clearly is me. I'm the fuck up. You, can cuss, you can't cuss, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like, I'm the fuck up. Clearly, I'm the worst person that ever exists. So that that's really me. So I, I really need to kind of get better at that, like trying to realize, oh, it's just, it's okay. You know, it's okay to not, for things to not work out. Yeah. All right. So when this, you ever see some comments will get to you? Like if I read some comments and you ask them. Because since you're like that. Yeah. In the beginning, yeah, it did hurt me. It did hurt you? Yeah, and that's why I don't read the comments again. You don't read comments? You want to read some comments? When the interview with me, with me when me forward, you yeah. want to read the comments? I mean, not that. I know Nara, Nara always have a point. That's, that's why me and Nara cannot be friends. Because Nara always have a point for work, talk about say, people say you chat too much and them something there. He's always quick to point out the negative to me. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I know I know him say like, yeah, me interrupt people. Funny enough, I was actually working it out on the podcast this week. And, I'm, I, and I think I have undiagnosed ADHD. Yeah. So in my brain, is that like my brain I got a million miles per minute? And like, yeah, I say something. And is that like me? I say, no. You have to jump in. And to me, I don't even think I do it. Like, me sure think you stop, but it's like, Oh, ask this now. So, yeah. I don't mean before to Before you it. forget. Yes. It's yeah. Like, before me forget. Yes. You're the type of person who says, I'm not cut you, but cut you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That is you. Yeah. So, they, they, you know, read comments. Mr. Yeah. Say, or they must say, all right, shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, you know. 
But you shouldn't feel no way. But, I mean, we're supposed to have conversations, right? Yeah, definitely. All right. <laughs> Nara, if I do not know where, where, where you live, where you, I said, Jesus Christ, Nara. All the time. Um, like, off camera, I wanna ever go at it. All the t Oh my God. Oh my God. I swear to you. In the very beginning, I don't know how this lasts the 10 years it lasts mm. because. No, man, put them in a word. Put them in a understand. That. Put that in a word. <laughs> no, I mean, you don't even remember, but you just, you know, you got at it. Yeah. Because I have an idea for the show or how I want the show to go. And he might have an idea of how he on the show to go. I remember no, clash. Like, yeah. Because I remember even saying to him, saying, no, you remember the show is not for you and your friend name. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you can't, you can't just operate like that. And Nari is just like, well, I'm not doing a scripted thing. Yes. You know, so it, it, that was in the very beginning, really. It, it took a good couple of years for us to kind of just, for me, to really let go the reins. So if I don't have complete control, then I'm not in it. So I'm just like, all right then. Sit back. All right then. All right then. It's your show. Cool. Cool. So Take over. That's, that's it. So that's how it was. All right. The Spice Incident. Where mm -hmm. were you at the time? I was there. I was. I was. Did you hear it live? Oh, yeah. You hear the soccer mother live? Live. So where did I run through your body at the time? Did somebody have to hold your back? Nothing? No. No, I don't know. There were people off camera who was like, "Yeah, I am," and I was just like, "What are you talking about? Like, you don't know what you're talking about. Like, yeah. you should have people around her who was like, I guess, were was egging her on at the time. Mm -hmm. I think it was the dancers. It was like rebel them or whatever. And I remember like talking to them and I say, "You don't know what you're talking about. Like, what you say? Like, yeah, um, is that true?" And I'm like, "You don't know." That was me off camera, like yeah. you know, yeah, like, defend him. Yeah, because. It's just lies. I hate when people lie, yeah. ultimately. And it's like, yeah, you're always at... I'm like, that's not the case. That's not the case. But, um, yeah, I was there. And I saw it. And I, what was going through my mind was like, I was right. Because if you remember, it's a trap. Yeah. And I was like, do not go. Yeah. I was right. <laughs> so I was like... So set him up. Yeah, it was definitely a setup. But, set up. Yeah, set up. Yeah, 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 yeah. But credit to him. Like, even if him think if, he's a setup, he was like, the worst. What's the worst that could you, happen? If you were the one doing the interview and it was you that got told the same explicit, how would you um, react? I don't know. And I, and I kind of, and I, you know, you think about it and I'm like, could I, some, like, if, depending on the day, depending on the mood, it would have been a back and forth. But then yeah, maybe some you know, kind of yeah. something. You know, yeah. Two women in Yeah. It would have definitely be a back and forth depending on the day. If it's a good day, it's just like, yeah. all right, so whatever. All right, whatever. I'll just get up and done it. But like, you never really have a, a problem with nothing with you. Right, so. right. But if it was, if I was on camera, I'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, you know, so where, where did this come from? Yeah. Like, you know, I try find the issue, like the core issue. But um, if it was me, and I, I guess, it, as I said, it depends on the day. Because if it's the day, it was the back and forth. Because I was going back and forth with mm. the girls, them off camera. I was like, what are you talking about? That's not true. And, you know, like, you know what you're talking about. Yeah. And then... I would probably go back and forth to like, really? Like, why are you lying and whatever? So, and then yeah. when you, the night, no, when you see that everywhere. Pelper post it. Mm. When the, when the, when the production <laughs> the, That was the funniest thing. So we left from 100. Yeah. And we said, all right, oh, we're going to figure this out. Like, we have a course. It was me. I um, think I want alone catch it. So yes, I have, you know, can control because it. Because truly it was like that. Yeah. But I forgot that Pelpo was there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are. Because how it was, it was just like, a, 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 like they did it in like a, tr um, like a trolley. Mm -hmm. So it's like media one, media yeah. two, media yeah. three. Yeah. So we were literally the last. I think it, probably we were, we were second to last. Yeah. And just... So it, it, everybody clear out, everybody gone. And then, at least I thought everybody gone. It was just us. And then you hear it and 
Yeah, I said, fuck. And they, because it was us alone, like even the cameraman <laughs> in the, the tent alone. So I'm not even understand. <laughs> So the post and so literally upload the same day. Cut it out? No, absolutely not. Okay. But what happened, we did post it. So what we did, so you just captured the, the moment. Mm -hmm. But what our plan of action was what we did okay. to post the count and say, well, you said that we said this, that's not the case. You said that we do this, that's not the case. Okay. So it was the, to mm -hmm. counter the attack. Okay. Right. True. Makes mm -hmm. sense. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. So if you approach it, media, it's like a media war. Them time, you know, you know. We have to show them. All right, proof. Mm. A proof, you know? Yes, like, true evidence, what, yeah. You have evidence, a camera, you know? A camera saying the most people got jail. <laughs> no, true, <laughs> yes. Me? Phone, mm -hmm. camera, phone. Mm -hmm. So you have to know where I do mm -hmm. with it and where I set nowadays. Yeah. True. Media is everywhere. True. All right, what do you think about that? What the guy name? Where they are the um, illegal car racing thing? Oh. Yeah, Giovanni. Giovanni. Yeah, we're talking about it. Like, I get what Gia Giovanni has to do, and I get TVJ what them have to do. Mm -hmm. But I think the onus was on, or should have been on TVJ to put proper place, proper things in place, proper mechanism in place where you protect your journalists. True. You know, because he, this shouldn't be the one and only thing that he should do, mm -hmm. like in terms of expose and like uncovering. Um, Illegal the, things. Yeah, you know. So when you put him in a situation like that, then anywhere he goes, like people are gonna be like, "Oh, that's Giovanni." Mm, hide. Yeah, hide. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's not illegal. yeah, so it 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 would have been it's like a bit difficult for especially him to 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 do anything like that again. Maybe maybe not for now at least. His cover is blown. Yes. You know yes. I mean? Basically. Can we think about people like when them police are doing sting operation, yeah. like any if them cover blown, if if anybody is suspecting me, like you're yeah. known as John, and then somebody say, "Yo, Peter, what are going?" Like, like I'm not Peter. Yeah, for move. Yeah, move <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. We'll go somewhere else on yeah. the internet. Yeah. So and I definitely think nowhere. the onus was on TVJ. They should have put proper mechanism in place to protect him. Like find some way and say, "Well, okay, all right." Like probably put him with, like I'm not like maybe a video. Personal video, mm -hmm. like the video man, mm -hmm. so make them capture it and send it in, and probably just say, Well, you know, given we got, we got the recording or voiceover, something mm -hmm. to just kind of show that he's not, it wasn't him, it's not him capturing it, he's just doing a recording and exposing this this industry, I guess, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, the industry, the car thing, yeah, car but racing. from it though, I've learned a lot from it in terms of what is being put on the line because apparently they put them care and mm. people care title mm. and yeah they yeah. some serious things on. yeah and when i used to live at daytona mm. up at the top of the so i live down back back now where caribbean estate it wasn't caribbean estate yeah <laughs> when i was living there but at the top of the road where the school they me here hear vroom, enough yeah. a couple mornings when we wake up to accident. Yeah. Like me and go get ready for truck. school and people are there. Daytona. Daytona, yeah. 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 Please. <laughs> well they never knew it the community was on the main road. Yeah, so, but yeah. Daytona no one car. Yeah, racing. Daytona Daytona what? Five hundred or something like that. Yeah, yeah foreign, yeah, yeah. So, so and a couple and as I say a couple um accidents well maybe we'd wake up to when we get ready for go school. Because mm. so, uh, they do them illegal street racing on uh, the top of the road. What's the most memorable interview you ever do? Like, were you really proud of? Hmm. Mm. 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 Ten years, huh? Yeah. A whole heap of, it's a lot. A whole heap of thinking, I'm going, I think from 2014 to 2014. 2024. Oh, gosh. Stress me, stress you out. Yeah, because. A lot of them happen because it's like first it was so the Marco come yeah. and then it was Beanie Man and then Lady Saw mm -hmm. and then um, you know Wayne and Sean yeah and it's like all these major people that you, you actually yeah, admired and you see and then you get an opportunity to talk to them meet them and so, reason with them yeah like twin or twins to like all them people that come and it's it hard to say memorable or I I really enjoy them. All like yeah. that was one of the major questions that we asked. We did some interviews early in the year, and people asked us to speak, and it's so difficult because to pick which one. Yeah, because they all hold a special. I tell you my favorite. Which I think one? I would killer. Yes. When outside of the 
outside when you come out of the stu- right. studio and mm-hmm. talk outside. Why did when you come out of the studio? What time. Happened? Time. Time. So we were on from 2.30 to 5. Mm-hmm. Um, we did figure say, well, we did block out most of the time, especially in like the, the half, like the hour or probably like 40 minutes to kill her. Like the latter part of the show to kill her. Mm-hmm. And then I said, well, no, we can actually talk more. And he was actually willing to talk more too. Yeah. And he had say. And he worked out now in a favor, and you know why? Because he get to express himself as killer. Yes. He start cuss. Yes. You see me? He start saying, YouTube, I'm a radio. But he's like, you watch that one, eh? I'm a favorite one. That, that, that is too. That, that is one of my favorite ones too. Yes, and especially it? how it come together. That really was one of my favorite ones. And yeah, I feel like even to up to this day, like major respect to Killer. Cause Definitely. you know, he's a man where he boss people. Mm-hmm. And then like him, especially for young people in uh, like I, I know he mean him like young people, but like even interviews too, like yeah. pick and choose which people him go to. Yeah. And for him to come out it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Killer give us a tramp for Killer. <laughs> Need an interview. <laughs> yes. boss yet either. <laughs> oh I'm boss. Yes. So yes, that sir. was like that one too was a good one too and like especially you know like how you try to work it and I beg him not ask him not come not please mm-hmm. and it all worked yeah. out so and that was good and yeah. And have people when as big as killer probably even turn it down and probably never show up or something. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. All the time. So, yeah, so <laughs> that's why everybody I go rate killer. Yes. Ask him do some things where I can say. Really do that. Book him for a show already and. Show never really turned out how it's supposed to turn out, and we never have all them in money when we forget. Oh no, you see me? Yeah, so it's like everybody we are saying we have to cut everybody pay. You get me? And we cut the one they pay, and them say, Vex, cut the next man pay, Vex, cut killer pay, killer say, No, the chinga man, thing never too slap way, and you know, him, ne- him alone never complain about, wow. the, about the pay. Wow, and guess what? I'm doing now after that, any see them over game. He said, how much for the NEC them? And he gave me back some of the money. What? For the NEC them. Well, we give him complimentary. Yeah, you know? him rider. Yeah. yeah. And he went pay for them. What? So it's a different individual, that man. You see me? He is... Killer. He's... Shellings may attack, if you don't remember, which show me attack. Shellings up a guys. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's incredible. Yeah, I don't first ever hear artists like give up. Yeah, man, the man pay for the NEC them. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, pay for the NEC them. That's our first. Yeah. That's our first. I would don't lose. Yeah, and him know that too. And him know. Oh, wow. And him say, mm-hmm. pay him, short him pay, and him pay back some of my money. So, wow. Yeah. Big up killer. You have to respect them. Yes, you see absolutely. Me? So, I right, being in the industry, because you're in the industry now, you know, like, what has changed in your life? Am I in the industry? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Um... I kind of think of, I think of myself um, adjacent to it, yeah. not a part of it. Yeah. You're a complementary part of where? Like, I'm on the outskirts. No? Mm-mm. No. You can't go nowhere. Say I go out tonight. Yeah. So that people not, nobody not going to say, hey. Nobody. I mean, yeah, people recognize me. So yeah. So that is a part, and people want to know you. People want the link. All right? People don't want the link. People to come the, on the show, yes. So the show is, it's like your song. If yeah. you're an artist, your show, how well your show is doing, that is like how well your song is doing, you know, yeah. as an artist. Mm-hmm. And the more consistent you are and the longevity we are having in the business, the more popular you will become. Mm-hmm. So it's just like an entertainer, same way, because your people will watch the show for entertainment. Yes. You understand? Yeah. So you have to look on it the way there. So you can't say, oh, yeah. Like it up on the sideline. You're trying to be modest. No, and it's not trying to be. Like, I, I don't know. In my brain, I just think I'm on the adjacent. I feel like the people who we interview, they are the stars. They, yes, are, we, they are the ones. They understand that. Yeah. But you have to have a certain notoriety for them even want to be on the show too. Hmm. I think it's a platform in of itself that we've created, but not necessarily for me. Mm. Yeah. It coincides each other, man. I guess. Isn't it? And, I, and I'm not trying to be modest. I guess in my brain, I just have to see it like that. Like, I'm, I'm not a part of it. I'm just... So which, uh, which artist ever in your DM? I beg you some front on them thing there. None? That's crass. None. And them, them, them better than that to come in the DMs. Well, them, well, all them reach out. 
What if them say mean person? Yeah. So and we, they don't we, ask like that. No, but <laughs> whoever look you then. Um You know what I call it name? No. <laughs> but them look you. I guess, uh, yeah, I guess I you guess. can consider it looking, yeah, yeah. You never, you never even think about it? Are you, you ever date an artist or somebody in the business? No, not date, no. No? Mm. But you have a rule, you rule it out? No, actually. Mm -hmm. Everybody know me love Damien, right? You know me love Damien and Juna Gang Marley, right? Like... My name Damien, you <laughs> Really? Yeah. Really? Okay. All right. Well, Junior Gong Marley. Okay. No that. <laughs> thing good. Nothing right. Good. No, but um, no, 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 but no. Mm -mm. No, 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 but no. No. No, but no. <laughs> Junior Gang. <laughs> Pull up our foot. He's happily what married or <laughs> well, there was somebody. Yeah. No, yeah. that's only a giveaway. What the? F Why would you do that? Me not Why? Me not Why? Do what? What me do? Why would you call Narani? No, and it, and it, cause the world feel like under there. The world, you see, feelings mm -hmm. and reality are two different yeah. things. Me and you have a good rapport, no, you know. You know, probably people say with they. Yeah. Be believe, <laughs> believe people. <laughs> <laughs> no, but me, people think that. Mm -hmm. Cause people see me and ask me for them. I'm just gonna know. The fuck. Just because them there. No, brother. I hope you know. They not tell me. They not announce nothing. What you see, what me, not see what. What? Well, me not see nothing different. But people think when when people are around each other so much. Mm -hmm. You understand? But them run, him run Javi. Well, him did say that people thought at one point it was Javi too. So yeah. until she pop up with her man, her husband. I'm pregnant and him. Yeah. Nah, no, you. <laughs> father's day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kids know. Mom, you know, you know, what kind of face that for good little, nice, cute little poopers? Cool, man. Where say no one of kids? Never want them. Why? Never want them. Why not? I don't know. I just, I never consider myself a maternal person. Mm -hmm. When people have dollies and whatever, and like the baby, mm -hmm. like me, I drag the dolly on the ground. Like, I've never been maternal like that. Stress out, right? Yeah. No, if you say that. You know, like kids, like other people, kids. Then, like you, I see somebody kid, and I say, yeah, nice. I'll pick them up, and I mean, I don't, nice pick, I don't pick up kids in general. Like, I'm like, hi. If only if like the parent give me, and if them come to me, and I'm like, how you do, and whatever, you cool, but like. So you're about skill then. What do you mean? Yeah, about skill. You know the terminology then. No. Yeah, sight then shot. Cause shot a fire, you know, somewhere <laughs> somehow. Shot a fire. <laughs> well, kids. You have to use protection. Mm -hmm. Wrap it up. Safe sex is the best sex, yeah. Who tell you that? Everybody. Safe sex is the best sex. Yes, safe Should sex. Should be no one send a bad message up on the media <laughs> on the yeah, yeah, but... Yeah, man, a raw cocky in a world. No! <laughs> no! No, safe sex is the best sex. Trouble that day, don't. Yeah. Trouble that day. Yeah. Use condom, kids. Use it every time. Yeah, but... Every time. Like earlier, I'm just saying, I could tie them beside your bed. Uh, you. <laughs> Jeezy, you're at my home. You see, you, you want to come in my room to see any toy? There's no toy in my room. Okay. I don't even have a dolly. Uh, boy. A troublemaker, you can't follow me. Can't. <laughs> it's a troublemaker, people. I don't know some steel. I'm already there. I have to trouble her. Yeah, it's cool though. It's cool. Nobody in our DM, DM dry. Nobody not look her. I mean, people look me and I mean, I'm just like, oh, I'm so a reject, so you just I got you a reject. I don't ah, reject. Ah. At least I don't all right reject. You just... Weird. How you, how you manage to stay single then, if, since you're single? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. Thank you. Well, That's what I say. Thanks. So you look nice, you know, thanks. Thanks. Can I bring you out later? Thanks. Thanks. So I'm um, at the weekend. Thanks. Wicked girl. <laughs> you can't say my road. You can't say my road. <laughs> Judge of God, man. She said thanks for everything. Everything. Sometimes I just ignore too, but yeah. 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 So why? Why, Wom? Why you want to why you wanna steer? 
Well, you're not selling it, but you want uh, I mean, it's just an air of mystery you now. I don't really, I don't even like that. Like, I feel like if I was supposed to get married, mm -hmm. it's a probably no by accident. Like, a, is a, I guess I gotta say something. Like, I've always operated like that from a long time. My mother called me sneaky still. Yeah, my but... look sneaky. <laughs> I you just feel like sneaky. I just don't like that. Like, I don't like publicizing everything, and nothing is a secret. It's just private, you know. Yeah. So who knows? Even no. though you're a public figure. But who know no? Mm -hmm. Who no need for no? Yeah. The Monday night quiet. Right now, my watch and I say, me a fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows. Nobody knows. As it should be. As it should be. All right, good way. Yeah. You see, People ruin things. All right, true. You know, what real, let me notice in her life. All right, you see, all a girl, sex already as a man. And she posts a picture in a bikini and looks sexy. Be a man underneath it. So you want really a fuck her? No, nah, I said nothing. nothing. Not. He might like it. Dog might like it, dog. But if not comment, just a look. I say, yeah, man. Can I see her without the bikini where you are lost over? Yes. This is me, so it's yeah. like... That's why I, I don't know. understand. Even when, like, you know, people come and say, yeah, I like other girl picture. I'm like, okay. Okay, cool. Like, I like the same picture too. So it's fine. So, all uh, right, what do you like? You know, Bad boys, nerdy type, businessman type. What's your type? That's a very interesting question because I've never really thought about it. I think I don't. I, first of all, I don't like bad boys, yeah. not at all. Like no. I'm a nerd. <laughs> You're a nerd. Really, blood. I'm a B. <laughs> I'm a nerd. No, like no. I don't. No, no. Don't like. You don't like bad boys. Why? Mm -mm. Most subtle girls, most calm girls were more uptown type, you know, said in like well, bad boys. I'm not uptown, I guess, no. Huh? <laughs> no, because I, I guess I'm risk averse. I've always been risk averse. Like, men don't really need the unnecessary chaotic drama of like, oh man, police, you have to run from police and bad man? None of that shit. Yeah. But tell people I don't like gunman, legal or otherwise. Yeah. So, police, soldier. Yeah. You know, and, and, and gunman, like none of them. Nobody with gun. No, I hate it. I don't even like to see gun. I know, star. Don't like so it. Can I impress you? I say, your oh, mama. Impress who? Me? Matic. No. One wallet. No. Mm -mm. I've held a gun once in my life. Yeah? Once. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm going to be like, what the lady were interview Ninja Man? Emily Crooks. Emily Crooks <laughs> said, Where did you get this gun from? <laughs> Was My uncle. Leak? Was it legal? It was. It was legal. <laughs> <laughs> it was legal. But you know, it was my uncle at the time. Yeah, I was a kid too. And I, and I realized, oh shit, it's really heavy. It looked light. On TV, it looked light. Yeah. But it's actually really heavy. But yeah, look at fitness, so it, I got heavier than... I guess. At the time. I guess. I guess. I you guess. Me? But it was heavy. Like, it, I remember that distinctively. Like, it weighty. Waiting on what I would have expected it to be. Yeah. Should I bust one more time, man? I wanted to, you but want then to. I might know. <laughs> you know. You're going to make sure I kill you. No. <laughs> what do you mean? No. I just... No, no, no. Explore but something I actually, more. But, you know, I was actually thinking about it to go probably like a gun range mm -hmm. and try do it. I'm but then... Say so a goal it. Yeah. But I feel like they were asking for too much things. Like, we have to fill out some stuff and, you know, background check. And, well, background check is fine. But, like, you have to do... It was just complicated to me. Sure. I remember going to the firearm licensing agency, like, the person I was working for. Um, I had to get the form mm -hmm. for him. And I was, like, kind of looking it over. Yes, it too. I'm like, why complicated. so much things? Like, to yeah. get a gun because yeah. it's a gun. True. <laughs> Because it's a gun. True, true. The but then I never. But the thing is, I would. I never feel like. Even just to practice, I felt you have to fill out the form, right? Mm -hmm. I just wanted to try shooting it at the range, so I was just like, I, I don't even want a gun. I just want. Just link me anytime you want. All right. Man. All right. Cool. Wait. Where we're going. <laughs> Where are we going? What are we doing? I need those information before. Yeah. You need everything. Everything. Safe. Everything. Country where I go on. Which country? Far one. Then no. Some hills. No. 
No, that's how you get shot. <laughs> oh, but you're good, man. <laughs> hunting. No. Yeah, that's right. Hunting. You know, I know people go hunting. I'm like, where you hunt? Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Apparently, there, there is in Jamaica to hunt. I see some video with some deer. I never even know that was yeah. possible in Jamaica. So some deer eat out some crops for seeds in the nose. What? Yeah, deer. I White didn't tail even... deer, it did say. In Jamaica? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, man. That's crazy. Goat cousin. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. No, I, I, I didn't even know that we had deer. That was wild to me. But, yeah. But I don't like guns in general, no. Yeah. But I prefer... I mean, I prefer a nice, balanced person. So yeah. somebody who can fight, but know not to fight. Naro. <laughs> okay, Naro is an example. Yeah. T- exhibit yeah. A, Naro, yeah. So somebody who can fight, but know when not to fight. I prefer, you know, like, smart people, first yeah. of all. Because I enjoy having good-spirited conversations. Mm-hmm. Um... I need somebody that is not annoying. So dating show sure each other. What else do we need? Annoying, and that's annoying. Yeah. And application to put out to that. I actually quite enjoy people who use them hand. Yeah. I re- and I was wondering yeah. if there's a connection there with my father. Because my father is a plumber oh, by trade. Type of use on your yeah. Use on your thing, so like mechanics, because I kinda wanted to be a mechanic too. I had I had a, a little sp- Burst out interest in cars at one point. Yeah, yeah. True. So that too. And, you know, musicians. Yeah. People who use them hands. I realize that I like. Flute and. Drummers. Drummers yeah. and. Yeah. You have our uh, industry crush? It's beside. Marley? It's beside. Marley. Somebody with more. There. Oh. I talk about him international and him there. True. You understand? I talk about somebody who can go around at Jangas, you see. Just bring up an exact location, you know. <laughs> an exact location. <laughs> um, yeah, of course, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That crush. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're you cr- you iron it out. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, iron out a crush. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you look like the type of love iron out crush. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. My favorite thing in life is to get over a crush. You kind of realize, oh my god, this motherfucker was ugly. Ugh, really, Ariane? Really? You stupid that. bitch, really? Stan, no Stan. <laughs> what are the latest um, mishaps you've been having? Like, media wise. Oh, again, I want you to. Who want you? Who want to fix it? Go at it. Who was the latest? Well, latest, what we just put out was Version. Version did vex with me. Because him say he actually left, him did come. Mm-hmm. And then. You know, you get, we do multiple interviews a day sometimes. Mm-hmm. And so we gave him a time. And we gave the other person a time. But the other person come little late. Mm-hmm. So we were saying, like, hold on. Like, you know, um, come. Like, oh, like, so it was his time, but he was going to run in. And then, like, him vex. Yeah. And then him left. And I'm like, what the fuck? Virgin so, him, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm vexed with it because he must say, because it was casino. Mm-hmm. So, I must say, oh, yeah, put in before him. And I'm like, if you only had waited, you'd have gotten the full story. And of course, you would have apologized. But, you know, like, because he came late too. So, that was the issue too. Casino came late and kind of run into everybody time. So, when you have like the artist beef them on the podcast, beef them, like, how you deal with it? Like, you take it serious or it's something where you just, eh. Not just the media. Like even with Jeffrey situation. You just take mm-hmm. it like, huh, the media, the people are gonna talk. Um You don't know what to say no. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> don't lie. <laughs> don't cap. Um gosh. Certain things you don't like yeah, you you ignore it, whatever. Whatever. Mm-hmm. You know? You know like sometimes them artists are full of shit. And like you kind of scale over it, just pray and say, God, for my hedge of protection. Mm-hmm. Um, but with this particular person, it was different because he was different. Yeah. And there is a level of toxicity and bad vibes he brought with it. Yeah. And he kind of resorted to and homonyms and personal attacks in some ways that was unnecessary and uncalled for um 
So his own is a little different. Okay. His own is a little different. So it's personal. We reach a personal level where I say, eh? No forgiveness. Um, well, I'm not a forgiving person by nature. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I'm always my own father. <laughs> True. So no, I'm not. I'm not really a forgiving person. You just so. said, yeah, say, oh, fuck that. Yeah, you and as wrong. I tell you, it's like the best thing is to iron out a crush. Like, yeah, the best yeah. thing, the, le the the more people I don't necessarily have to converse with or deal with, or yeah, the better for me. So that's fine, wonderful. You yeah. say one less person. For one dealing. less person to actually concern myself about. Yeah. True. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. And. All right, who, like in the industry now, you'd have said, would that be like tied to, to, to the fix? Would you have said, yo, a weed that I will link that the artist there? Mm. Come like, it's an in house artist that when it comes to the fix. Oh my God, artist, in house. Um, oops, sorry. Oopsie, I'm sorry. Technician, hopefully. I don't want to mash up the mic. Um, oh, um, it's weird. He does say like bounty, yeah. and we, at least we are claiming. <laughs> own him up. We are owning him up. Um, gosh, it's hard. Like, you know, people what we like, like me, that say Rasai, because Rasai is a special place in all of our hearts. Mm -hmm. Um, Meshodan, because Nara know Meshodan from Port Morto. Um, me personally, like, especially the newer crop, I personally like YG and Craft. Yeah. And, you know, Molly. Pablo. Pablo, yeah. Pablo YG. Uh, Pablo YG. I mean, we have YG, Molly, and Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah, Pablo YG and Craft and Molly. Like, them young people that I, I really appreciate. I appreciate them candor. Um, but I can't, I can't really claim any artists like that. Like, it, it, the ebbs and flow, you know. Yeah. You know, sometimes you think you're good and them not like you. You think, say, you're fine and. It's not fine. So I, I, I personally feel like I can't claim anyone. I just you just I'm, work with who I work yeah, with you. Yes, you know you hope for the best. You hope that we can keep a professional relationship for the most part and just kind of work together for the aim of the balance of media and artists. You know we need each other. It's a um, symbiotic relationship that we have. True. You know and we just kind of keep it like that. Yeah. No, I, I don't need friendship from them. I just want. Cordial respect and mutual understanding. Yeah. True. Mm -hmm. Make a lot of sense. So going forward now, we celebrated ten years. Mm. And what's for the next ten years you're planning to expand, to mm -hmm. do production, to do yeah. more? What you planning to do? Yeah. Well, um, yes, I do hope to expand. Yeah. Um, we have some plans for expansion this year and all things going well and good. It will come together at the later part of the year, the mm -hmm. latter part of the year. Um, as I said, I love, my hope was to go into other unscripted territories. Mm -hmm. um, I love game shows. That's my, it's the best part of my day. I, up to this day, I still watch Price is Right. Um, you know, I watch game show, I actually have game show network and I enjoy watching the shows on game show network. I realize they advertise to a lot of old people and I'm thinking about like, am I old? Maybe. <laughs> like, you know a no. lot of retirement and you know, like um like retirement planning and, and and medicine for heart and diabetes and them something there, yeah. But uh yeah, I hope that's it. Cause I have like like five game shows that I've actually worked on. Like it's about writing, like I have actually produced it. Mm -hmm. So I hope that can happen for for us and the fix and like separate separate myself. Yeah. Like I don't want to be on camera any at all. My hope is to kind of move away from being on camera and to go deeper into the production of um, producing shows and not just unscripted but scripted too. Because I enjoy writing. I, I tell you, say. say Parent, parent trap. I know you're gonna get to use it up. Oh <laughs> no! Oh no! So. But you know, like those scripted shows and things like that. Good. You know, may I talk to people like you know, that is like me, you know, say it ever go. Because we have a lot to say. Yes. Cause we talk, we talk for a living. Yes. So you don't know, right no more, so I get the people on your Instagram. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, your TikTok, whatever platforms you have. You yeah. don't know. Big up your fix, same oh, yeah. way. Oh, we done? 
You tell them one say we can we can't chat for five hours. We can. Yeah, we, can. we can. We can't chat for five hours. But yeah, but time. You guys won't watch five hours. No. Um, follow me on Instagram at A R I H A M M O N B. I guess I that's I think that's the same for TikTok. I'm not really on TikTok, but yeah, follow me there. Um, and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the fix ja and please subscribe put on a notification watch it like i i would love for you guys to watch not just the things that go viral like we really do good interviews even with you know with jeezy that was good you know but True. people probably are like oh i know jeezy like sometimes the people who are unknown have the best stories yeah. and i feel like you, you know you should give it a watch so watch watch the channel um and yeah, that's it, I guess, yeah. Well, Thank but, you, Jeezy, though, for... Oh, yeah, that's my, it? Yeah, like I say, like, we'll probably have a part one plus one again, part yes. two. Yes, Because, like we say, we have a lot to say. We have a lot to talk about. Yeah, we really, yeah, really Archibald. Who me like? Who me have sex? <laughs> what the hell? No, actually, when the box who you have sex with? Not yeah, you kind of did. No. Oh, that was off camera. Yeah. That was off camera. No, me, me never... Me never ask her that off camera, okay? Never ask her. <laughs> What kind of question that? Would what be? kind of question that, Jeezy? That would not be a good question. That was a poor question. That is not a question. <laughs> Who want to know though? In the comment section, <laughs> find out. I go find out our business. You or don't need to know. Or the crook? She's sneaky. <laughs> See the merch? Walk it talk. Yeah, man. I tell you, have shirts. You have Tom. You yeah. have bucket hat. Mm. You know what I mean? All right, I'll get one. Yeah. I Even though you say you never to the name kind of close to a name where you're not to deal with. Yeah. Mm. It's like, throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> now, no affiliation. It's walk it <laughs> Talk. Yes. Check it out. You know what I mean? And we're out. Pelper Time TV. Yes. Boom! Pelper Time Production. Big up to all of my viewers all over the world. You don't know. Big up to all who lock into Pelper Time TV over the years. You don't know, link with and you get your music video shoot, direct and edit, your wedding, your funeral, party, stage show, photo shoot, you name it. So just check the information on the screen and lock in to Pelpa Time TV production. Big up on yourself. Pelpa TV! Pelpa Time! Pelpa Time! Room, 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 room! Pelpa Time production. Pelpa Time. Pelpa Time production. The Pelpa TV. For Pelpa Time. It's a Pelpa Time, you know it's that time. Pelpa Time TV. I'm governor representing of the Pelpa Time, you know. Pelpa Time, you know what the thing tough? I win as a Pelpa Time, I'm more like more. Can't mix up Pelpa Time thing with no coffee. Come on a Pelpa Time, I represent for you. We're Pelpa Time. Pelpa Time right now. Oh, Pelpa Time, I want to them, them. Pelpa Time TV. Pelpa Time. Down for Pelpa Time Productions. Pelpa Time Production. It does present the Pelpa TV. Pelpa Time TV. Pelpa Time. Yeah, let them get the belt on time, you know. It's all about Pelpa Time. Keep it locked. Time to represent the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa. The Pelpa TV. Our TV. It's Pelpa Time TV. Cross. Pelpa Time Protection. Mm.